lemon one's pretty good, you know. You know what? I wasn't a fan of it when I first started it. I preferred the melon one. You become addicted to the L arginine. That's it. That is it. I'm addicted to. Do you know what's funny about this? Because we know that because we're like scientists and whatnot. B C amino acid aminos. Yeah, like, branch chain mm. amino acid aminos. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. We've got. We've already said those words. You don't need to say them again. <laughs> the best thing is I've seen to, to like that one gym douche uh, who has like watched a couple of YouTube videos on what these things actually are, and they talks about his getting his amino acids in. Oh yeah. Where he only knows the words, he doesn't know what it means, doesn't know why that's different. But if you've got to get your aminos yeah, you up, do, you got, know. got to have your aminos before you do your workout protein afterwards. Like, wait, you know those two things are basically the same, right? Yeah. If they're the same price, just get the protein and drink it. Exactly. No one cares. Exactly. Your body doesn't Have you know. watched that? Um, so we should probably intro this. Yeah, welcome to the first ever episode of uh, Conversations podcast with Sheps and Eddie. Yeah, <laughs> Conversations good. with Eddie and Sheps. There we go. This is what we are, uh, Sheps and Eddie. And Eddie and Sheps and you know all that kind of stuff. That is us. We are they. They are we. They are we. This is going to be something new we're doing. Uh, This is going to be a brand new sort of showish video type thing that we're going to be doing. Yeah, it's not a video, is it? It's It's not a video. video. I was like, video? Wait, wait a minute. The camera's rolling. (laughs) No, no. This is going to be a brand new show. Uh, Early on Patreon. Uh, and then it's going to be going out to all of the bros afterwards at a later date. And it's something extra that we thought we'd do on the side, on top of things. Yeah. Just so we can all chill back together and have some jokes and say fucking dick come up. Because that's basically what this is going to be. A lot of people have asked for a more podcast format kind of discussion. Yes, a yes. lot of people. And... Uh, we we thought we would give it a go basically yeah without the without the camera which is weird because I felt our good looks carried carried the that was uh, lack of I talent thought. I thought that was the reason why I wore all of my Superman t shirts in fact I'm wearing one today you actually are, <laughs> I, yeah. thought I was wearing my Superman t shirt I thought that's what people wanted to see and you know now we've not got the camera it feels a bit weird because now I'm looking over at the camera it does not feel there. strange it does feel strange but we always said these were conversations we were gonna have anyway yeah. And we're just recording them. Exactly. And the camera's just the other, the third bro who never really speaks, but exactly. he's always there, right? And that's yeah. that's you. Yeah. Um, I just, it does feel strange having the conversation without you there yeah. looking at us, you know? Like, <laughs> I keep trying to look at you in the camera and you're not there. You're, you're not, not there. there. Oh, bro. Anyway, so this is going to be a brand new thing. As we said, it's going to go out early, early on access. Patreon. Yep. Uh, all those Patreon bros, thank you so much for supporting us. Any of you guys that want to do that, it's going to be, I believe we set at the $5 tier. I did check earlier. $5 tier uh, and above, you guys get this early. And then afterwards, it will go out for everybody for free on YouTube, everything. So no worries there. If you are one of our bros that support us, like, for example, Conrad, um, uh, Saki. Saki, and... Diogo. Diogo, that is right. I didn't forget those names. <laughs> you, you're so great. Thank I'm you so for being good. my I'm bro. A, I'm a professional. The super bros out there, if you've helped us, thank you so much for keeping these lights and mics on. It's all because of you that we continue Wait, to do this kind of this stuff. this is audio only. We can turn the lights off. We can turn the lights off. Go oh make God. those margins. We don't need as many patrons now. Everyone cancel. <laughs> Everyone cancel. <laughs> right. Diogo, you can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... um. When this goes up live, any of you guys that want to become patrons, feel free to head over to patreon.com slash conversations and you can get all kinds of early access like you've just seen right now. And um, yeah, let's get into some talking. Yeah, let's get into it. So, so because this is the first one, it's going to be a bit weird. We don't really know what the format is and I think we don't have any idea for how long they're going to be. Yeah. I don't think we're going to set that in stone. I think we're going to just talk about stuff that's sort of relevant to yeah. the time when it comes out mm-hmm. and maybe give you guys some extra content like on your bro mute to work exactly or, uh, mm-hmm. commute, bro mute, com, bro mute. no no, no, no i no, think mind. bro mute well, i think it was good enough, it was okay. close enough. <laughs> uh, that was close uh and so it's just going to be extra content we're just going to be chatting yeah it's i guess this is going to be more of a behind the scenes look at how we really talk because i think people think we aren't really like this yeah the it's going to be surprising i think for some people that the videos are how we are yeah. <laughs> the only difference is it cuts out random thoughts that go in extra videos yes that's literally the difference yes and the thing is as well like we, we have to be we have to be quick with what we say and we have to be one after the other for those videos because they go up on youtube we can't make them all of them 45 minutes long or right. it's gonna be and whatnot. Right. but anyway um so i had a couple of ideas for us to do for this first for this first show just because people have been asking okay. for this all right and to pop the cherry to pop the cherry of the conversation show we're doing here 
is to talk about how we first met and how we first started on YouTube. Oh, conversations, origins. Exactly. Everyone <laughs> asked this question. We did try and do it one time in a video. We did. However, we tried to condense it down and we felt it didn't capture the essence. It was a bit... Yeah, it's a bit weird. I'm really glad you said that because I didn't like the way that turned out. It just yeah. it didn't feel right. It felt like we were trying to. It felt like we were trying to. So we did something. this and we did that and we did that and then uh, yeah, 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 we're here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, huh? yeah. So conversations. So the year is 1990. Yes, year is 1990 <laughs> when I was just popping out of my mother's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is we're recording this on my birthday as well. I know. So exactly 30 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> happened. Go hurt. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <The> origins. <laughs> Quick aside, just before we go, we're going off topic. This is how it is. Perfect. Um, I was going to say, uh, I saw a joke somewhere, I heard a joke somewhere, where a guy said his mother at a dinner had said that, do you know, want to know what everyone's got in common on this table? Everybody in this room right here has at one point been inside my vagina. Oh. I was like, oh my God. Mum, oh. why? Why, mum, why? Oh, so <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Way to kill a Christmas dinner, right? <laughs> anyway. That's pretty bad. Let's start from the beginning. Let's skip so, ahead to university. Yes. When did we meet? What was our situation? Yeah, we met in university. I actually have an interesting story of how I got into university. Go ahead. I, uh, my brother had just finished his... He got his A-level results. Mm -hmm. And I went to pick him up. And everybody was coming out. And I didn't really care about school. I wasn't the greatest student. Um... And I saw all these kids who I didn't know, so I wasn't like, that guy's a dickhead, she's a, you know, all this stuff, right? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, fuck, they look really excited and they're talking about stuff. But I didn't really give it any thought, and then it's like the summer holidays. Right? Yeah. It's the end of it. And then um, something else I was looking to do fell through, and I was just like, screw it, I'll go to university. Had no idea how to do it, didn't have one of those UCAS things or any of this stuff. This is 100% true. I love how people, I love how <laughs> normally people are like, I've got my five year plan, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go to university, I'm going to study this, and then hopefully yeah. it will lead me to that. You're just like, it's a Tuesday. Oh, well, well, you well, should, we, should we go to university? <laughs> so, <clears throat> it's a Wednesday. Okay, oh, he remembers the day. Sure. And uh, I Googled how do you get into university if, you have, if you're late or whatever, right? And it was like, you go through clearing. I got the idea, right? It's all the spaces that they haven't filled. So I went on clearing. Found something that sounded interesting. Biology, just I'm not super. I'm not like the smartest guy in the world. I'm not dumb either, but biology just came naturally to me. I kind of I got can it. Confirm you are dumb. I'm I'm yeah. not the dumbest guy out yeah, there, but yeah. I'm not the smartest guy yeah. out there. And for some reason, I used to get biology. It just like clicked for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, cool, uh, biomedical science. That sounds interesting. Sounds really interesting. Yeah, yeah. A, I'd like toyed with the idea of maybe medicine. I never was going to get mm -hmm. grades for that. But I'm like, okay, biomed. That sounds like close or whatever. Maybe I could convert it to medicine or something if I cared to do that yeah i'm not the studying type and i'm like all right cool thursday uh, so i found the i found the 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 university yeah call cool up i'm like hi yeah um there's a i see this thing on clearing i don't exactly have the grades i think it was like aab or abb and yeah. i had like cde yeah so far and off <laughs> quite far off. and i started talking to this lady who happened to run the course somehow i accidentally found my way to the lady that ran the course yeah. and i started telling her the sob story which was true, like my grandma had died around the time my A levels and stuff like that. I'm like, it affected my A levels, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, well, okay, look, why don't you come down and we'll have a quick chat. But, you know, do, do you think you could get the student loan? Because it's right at the end. Like, are you yeah. eligible? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can probably get it. She's like, all right, cool. Come to the uh, induction on tomorrow, on Friday. Cool. So I came, I spoke to her in person. I, you know, I was like, oh, I love biology and, you know, I really want to do this stuff, whatever. I don't have a clue. And she's like, all right, cool. Go to enrollment, see if you can get, see what they say. So I went down to the office. Signed all the paperwork. They did a quick Google search, or whatever it was, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah you can probably get it." The uh, the student loans. I'm like, "Cool." Enrolled. Lecture ones on Monday. Oh shit! Oh, uh, that's the end. Yeah. I'm 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 like, frick it. I will go. <laughs> Less than a week before the start of Not the semester. Not even a week. <laughs> so I turned. I called her the Thursday. Go to the like induction thing on the Friday. Lecture ones Monday. <laughs> And it's uh, it's biomedical science. And I'm a year out of school. Having you know, I didn't exactly ace my A levels. Yeah. And I just jumped straight into to biomedical science. Jesus, that's how easy it was. That's how I mean. I talked my way in. I've had a few of these like talking my way into. I know the, what you mean. Yeah. I had a similar sort of thing with the with the university. Maybe this doesn't speak well to our university, but no. um, my my A levels, I had. Uh, uh, chemistry, biology, and I had uh, physics, but I was terrible at that, and I failed that completely. Let me cut you off real quick. Go I've got to tell you, I bet, but I, I did physics as well. Yeah. I bet mine's worse than you. Oh, mine was an E. 
I mine's worse. Are you? What are you I got so I went the day I quit uh, physics. This is what had happened. I had done like a you know a test in the physics thing, coming up to like the mocks for as AS right yeah. in the first year. Done terribly. Got a U. Yeah. I worked my ass off. I was like, I'm going to do physics. I like sciencey stuff. I like space and shit. I'm going to work my ass off. Really actually revised. Doubled my mark. Still are you. I was going to say, yeah, I mean... I it, doubled it, my <laughs> mark to the point I doubled it. Exactly doubled it. Still are you. And I went up to my physics teacher and said, this ain't for me. I'm out. At that point when you doubled your mark and it's still a you, and I at that point you need in. to consider, do I sleep with the teacher? Yeah. And if it's an old man... I think I have to get down and blow someone. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> physics, yeah, I'm with you on physics. So yeah. I got that, and that wasn't good enough for anything. And I did a, I did a Turkish A level as well. Okay. But it was a Turkish A level in a Turkish school that it was nowhere near accredited. They're Turks; they don't give a crap about being accredited or being <laughs> legit or anything like that. They just said I got an A, and I was like, cool, I can use that to get into university. I got to the university, and they were like, can we see evidence of your your grades? And I was like, oh crap, the only one that's an A is the Turkish one. Yeah. And those guys didn't give me like a certificate or anything. I'm starting to question whether or not they're legit. And they just sort of forgot about it. They were just sort of like, okay, you're in and go to your class yeah. and stuff like that. Anyway, that's what that happened. Anyway, so we got to university. We both studied we biomedical science. We did. And in one of our lectures, we sat down next to each other and sparks flew. I don't know what. I just remember getting on with you. I actually remember the... It well, was a group of people, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. like our friend Poria yeah, yeah, and a bunch of other people that we yeah. had there as well. And I remember we must have made like a joke with each other. And it was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this guy, this guy's all right. We just, we get along quite nicely. Yeah. We, and we start, so we start basically sitting next to each other every lecture. And yeah. instead of paying attention to lectures, I mean, we're only paying 10 grand a year or whatever and it is. You know, <clears throat> yeah. Back then just, a bit cheaper, I think it was. Not by oh, much. Oh no! Wait, hold on. We're, we're including our maintenance yeah, yeah, and yeah. like, yeah, yeah, okay. It would have been like ten grand and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, yeah, And just basically ended up hanging out. And this is one of the reasons I say Call of Duty Black Ops One is my favourite COD because although I was actually quite a beast on COD Four, I was pretty decent on Modern Warfare Two. The most fun I've ever had is those nights together. Late nights. Wait, you I should me. clarify. Yeah, playing Call right. of Duty. All right. right. Not those All nights right. together. I mean, those nights together were great as well. They were. But... <laughs> I mean, university, right? I mean, yeah, you got to try. you got to try. But <laughs> just Black Ops 1, you, me, the boys, just running around, being idiots. Oh, the Olympia, man. Yeah. Painful memories. But the most fun, because you're just chatting shit the whole time. Yeah. The whole time. Constantly, yeah. constantly. In fact, we have one of our friends, Poria, like I mentioned. He's not in any like YouTube or comedy or anything like that. But he, in my opinion, the does ultimate troll. The He's best so trolling, and he does the best straight face lying to the your best face. Straight face best straight face lying, the best shit talking yeah. ever. We'd just be, uh, the dude could destroy me up. you just randomly, and he'd be like, What the hell just happened? What yeah. did, where, did, where did this Out of nowhere. <laughs> and then before you realize you've been destroyed, it's back to like normal thing, and it was straight face, and you're like, Wait, did that happen? Did that happen? Did, did I? Did he actually just say that I'm his? I'm his son. What? <laughs> what happened there? Did he bang my mom? I think he, he was there at Christmas. I think I remember. <laughs> it. <laughs> it was just the greatest time. So okay, well, how did you start YouTube? Why did we start YouTube? Yeah. So I, at the time when I was in university, especially in the first year, there was a lot of random time where you would just do nothing where we'd just play video games yeah. or we'd be online watching youtube videos especially the first year and this was in the golden age of youtube in my opinion where things were very things were starting to get very ramped up in the age of cod gameplays and people could make, make any kind of video they want and it would get some traction it was it was an interesting time on youtube because youtube was small but growing fast yeah and so you could build a community relatively quickly and, and get views and stuff. And also advertisers didn't really know what, and Google didn't really know what their ads were doing. So the, the AdSense was high. Yeah. And it was before all of this, you know, the adpocalypse and you can't, you can't swear within the first 30 seconds of a video right. and you can't show a dick on the screen. <laughs> what kind of so nonsense is it that? Was, it was this weird thing where like, hey, any these random people are getting, do you remember Shay Cole? It was just yes. a dude and his family doing yeah. like his daily, daily vlogs. And this was before... One of the things I don't miss about that era yeah. is 
uh, the audience had this thing where if you made money from your videos, you should be ashamed of that. Ashamed of yourself. Yeah. And if you mentioned money at all, that was the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. Now, like imagine bringing out a Patreon in like 2012. Me. You'd get slaughtered. Ripped apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd be dead, you'd be dead. So you. So what was your like... My inspiration was actually Philip DeFranco. Yeah. Philip DeFranco back in the day, he used to do this uh, sort of like a... It was more like funny news. He's gone a bit more political now. Yeah. And he was... He's a smart guy, so he would... You just can't help talking intelligently about something. Yeah. Um, but the thing that I loved most about his stuff was that he would talk about the funny news that went on. So things that would happen in Florida. Like a guy uh, takes some some ecstasy, let's say, and then he goes streaking down a road and then he finds a goat and he decides to fuck it in front of the police right, right. and the police have to tase him but then it makes him come on the police oh. officers. That kind of stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, that is hilarious and I really want to do something that that is... I want to report on news but I don't want to report on like CNN news where like, Four people to die, died today in a car right, crash, like, which is fucking depressing lot, and stuff. Most of regular news is pretty depressing. Pretty depressing. But, but Florida guy, which for the record, actually, Frick Philip DeFranco, you and me, and me really sending it to you. Yeah. I found out about quote-unquote Florida man yeah. before, before it was a me. Right? <laughs> if in doubt, if you're like, oh, bro, I don't know what I'm going to do, I would literally Google Florida man yeah. and see what happened. And it would come up. It would always come up with something. I just didn't something. know it was a meme. Memes weren't really a thing back in that Not time. back then, no. Do you no. remember the first meme ever? Do you no. remember garlic bread? Yes. Was that the first meme ever? I feel ever? like that's the first real meme that hit the internet. I so for, for listeners at home, back in the day, this is when Facebook was the only real social media, right? Mm. MySpace hadn't took off, but it wasn't really social media as we know it. Facebook yeah. hit, right? And um, I think what had happened is some chick had been talking with her grandma on one of her photos like oh why do you always take photos of you in bikinis you know that kind of thing yeah. right and then the grandma had gone to like google garlic bread or get a recipe or something and just written after this kind of argument garlic bread and for some reason someone screen capped it and it just spread it became the thing yeah the thing garlic was like bread. all right i make this makes that was sense the first meme, yeah. i think that was yeah yeah God, that that's such a long time ago there you go memes so yeah, I, uh, I Philip DeFranco was my inspiration, and yeah. I love that kind of format. And I started reporting on crazy shit that people had done. Yeah. One of them that really sticks in my mind, and I think this is possibly one of my first videos ever. I think it is this story. Don't know why it's stuck in my mind, but it's a woman called in a bomb threat to an airport because her husband was going away on a business trip and she didn't want oh him to days, go. I remember that video. And he's like, no, I've got to go because I have a responsibility, work. And she's like, no, I don't want you to go. So she called in a bomb threat. And I was like, are you fucking crazy, bitch? And then it started to spawn things like bitches be crazy. And I made yeah. two hoodies at the time that said bitches be crazy on it in some like really weird Pokemon text as well. All right. I'll probably throw up a picture somewhere in like Discord or something like that. Um, which, if you want to join, link in the description. Go check that out. Um, and that sort of stuff happened. I would do more and more of these. And yeah. it gained me a lot of traction. Hottie of the Month was a big... Uh, Hottie of the Month. This was back in the day where like, if you wanted a video to do good, you put boobies in the thumbnail. Boobs and it was the just thumbnail. the way... It was It was a touch before the, the clickbait apocalypse, let's say, where like every video was just clickbait. It would be like... You know, tits in the in the thumbnail, mm -hmm. and then in the description it would be like, "I can't believe what she did." Yeah, brackets emotional. <laughs> you know, like it was just so bad. Yeah, and that would get it would get me a lot of views, and yeah. I think I gained something like, I think I got to something like two k or four k or something like that within like Fairly a year quick, and a half yeah. or something like that. And I was like, "Great, this is what I'm gonna do forever." And then obviously things in life started happening. I started to get into like the second to third year of uni, and things yeah. had to crack down, and. That was my thing for a while. Yeah. You did really enjoy doing it as well. I did enjoy doing it. It was good fun and it was great to talk about just wacky stuff that wasn't serious and no one had to care about what you said. It was just, let's laugh at some fucked up people, shall Ironically, we? Ironically though, the show was quite scripted and scripted isn't your format. Yeah, so at the time I used to actually write out a full on script and plan my jokes and they were great at the time, but now I do them and I'm like, shit, this all just comes naturally yeah, to me. And scripted isn't your format, but it, this is before... Like now, where we're, I guess, quote unquote, more mature content creators, like we got tons of different things that we're testing. We're testing thumbnails all the time. We're testing um, back end SEO and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like all the time, we're testing stuff. We're testing formats. It took us, what, like the first three months to get our intro down because yeah. we were like, let's try it. And then one of us said something different. Like, I like that. Let's say that from now on, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that, right? And 
we just didn't know that that was a thing you did. You just sort of were like, this is how I make videos, so I make videos like this, yeah. you know? It's a, it's a weird thing. It's still one of those parts, uh, just the journey of YouTube, isn't it? To explore and learn how, how you are and what makes you the best and how you oh, can yeah. become the best. So yeah, uh, while uh, after a couple of years of doing that and talking about uh, Japanese karaoke bars that make you jerk off while that, you're that singing. That jerk you yeah. off while you're singing yeah, and yeah. see what your singing ability is like. That's a real thing, by the way, if you want to check that out. <laughs> your viewers, uh, be aware, you know, that's not your own search. That's a risky click. Um, you also started doing uh, little gameplays every now and again. Yeah, so I, can't, I think it Some, was you. Somewhere in between this as well, there was one time where we would meet each other very early on where I'd be like, so bro, how's your penis? And I'd grab your penis. I do remember this, yeah. <laughs> so this is a real thing where the first time you did it was quite early on actually in our like friendship. Yeah. I think we'd, we'd spoken a few times in lectures, like literally two or three times. And we were sat down in like that cafeteria area and you sat down and grabbed my man sausage. And as you do. And... That was that is our like make or break moment. Yeah. There's a there's an alternate universe where we never speak. After that, it's like where there was a no. fist fight in a in a cafeteria because someone grabbed someone's sausage, yeah. you know? <laughs> and, and then conversations is never born. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like you sat down and gave it like you know how sometimes you'll like squeeze your mate's arm or something or their shoulder. Yeah. You did that, but it was to to me, and I was like, I, it took me like a good ten seconds to process what was going on. And but you just kept going on naturally, and I was like, that was weird. I guess that's is that funny? I. I think I find that funny. I, that's funny. I'm going to okay. say that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess that's just the way this guy is. Dick grabbing is funny, everyone. put that to, Take that to the bank. <laughs> um, but so I, I think it was probably you that was the reason I started doing it. Because I remember I was I was better at gaming then because I had more time and I was mm. KD was important to me and all that crap, right? Back in those days, our priorities were certain things. In right, it, yeah. exactly. So I would be the guy that would look up like, good cod classes and stuff to you know and and good routes to run all that crap right yeah before i went olympia only <laughs> you'd look up all these amazing strategies and be like fuck all of that i'm gonna go for a double barrel shotgun in Venice, <laughs> in Venice before i went for the olympia i did have like you know maybe it wasn't the best play you've ever seen but i was like closing in on a 2kd i'm gonna hold my yeah. own i was pretty okay for those of you guys that don't know i'm sure there are a lot of people that do know because we're like epic gamers here and of stuff course. like that um the, the Olympia was a double barrel shotgun that you had to reload after every two shots. Yeah, it has two right? shots, yeah. And you could fire them off quite quickly. You could. But there was like a certain... You know how shotguns are in video games. It's like, if you're within the lethal distance, lethal. And if Maybe. you get them in the like the head area or the main uh, center mass, cool, you got it. But anything just outside that and it's just confetti... And also, if you do hit them in the limb and whatnot, they're going to kill you. The other because you don't have enough was, time to reload. You don't have enough time to get back to the... The other thing was Black Ops 1 in particular had this weird hit registration issue. Yeah. And it had all sorts of... People kept talking about netcode. And I would talk about it in my videos. I have no idea what netcode is. But mm -hmm. it had issues with like hit registration, lag comp, and all this stuff. Yeah. Right. So the Olympia was not only the worst of the shotguns. It was, I think it was the worst gun in the game. And mm. for some reason... I got addicted to playing it. Yeah. And I do have some clips. They got corrupted, but I think some of them made them to a montage on my channel. I got a couple five mans with that thing. That's the... I think it's that, like, you know when you're getting punished? Yeah. And someone's constantly beating the fuck out of it's, you. It's the George hitting Biff moment. Yes, exactly. And you're like, you're getting beaten the crap of you. are getting tortured, fucking... You yeah. get one kill and then two more people kill you. You get no... You miss all your shots, then fucking they come back yeah. and kill you again. And then you go, oh, I've killed this guy. I have enough time to reload and kill that guy that's facing the wrong way. And then he turns yeah. around and kills you. And then you get that one moment. And like, bang, bang, two kills, reload, another two come through the door, bang, bang, you get that kill, yeah. then you get another kill, you're like, this is what I've been searching for, and then That's you just exactly jizzing it. in your pants. That's exactly it. So, I, and for some reason, I just decided I'll play it for the day, and I was like, all right, I'll do a, mo I'll do a, a prestige with just the Olympia. A whole prestige, and I did it. one to 50. Yeah, level 50. I prestiged just to do it with the Olympia, and then I just, I did it, and kept st just stuck with <laughs> yes. it. And I want to say, and not that I, oh, I'm an epic gamer, because there's guys that could do that and carry a 4KD, but I stayed above like a 1, I was like around a 1.2, 1.5, somewhere in there. With a terrible so gun. With the worst gun in the yeah. game, and, and I really genuinely only used that. And, you know, I had like secondaries and stuff. It wasn't yeah. only that, but anyway, so I was the guy that watched the YouTube video. So I watched like Woody's Gamer Tag and, and FPS Russia and yeah. stuff back in the day. Oof, listened to PKA. Right. right. And, um, and I saw guys like x -Jaws and whoever... And, um, and I'm like, you know, a lot of these dudes are getting all these views and all this stuff. And I get, I can get gameplays good enough. Mm -hmm. And, 
and I'm way better at this than they are. Yeah. So I'll do it. And I think you were the thing that kicked me off to doing it. And for the record, I was not way better than they were. <laughs> not even you a know, little bit. When you're, I mean, when you're in that moment, you're like, bruv, I am better than anybody out there. Fuck these. Was esports a thing back then? It was just becoming a thing. Okay, MLG. Like, I'm better. MLG, that's it. I'm I'm MLG pro, fam. What are you saying, cuz? MLG pro. Done no. <laughs> and um, I will do this. If we, when we get, we'll pick a, an arbitrary sub number, but yeah. I will fuck, because all those videos are still on my channel, mm -hmm. but they're unlisted. Yeah. Or private. We'll watch my first video. It's not good. It. I cringed at my first video that I watched and I'm like, no, 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 no. Wipe the memory, wipe the memory banks. Yeah. I can't, I can't think of that. No, 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 no. So I imagine it's something it's, similar. It's really bad. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm talking about. And I think the, the funny you thing is- You have no idea what you're talking about now. The funny thing is I think the video, I had a topic in mind and I also kind of live combed the video you were watching. So I wouldn't, wasn't live coming at the time. I think I was, I think, it might have been live and I had a topic or I recorded the video and then kind of spoke about the video as if I was live. I can not remember. Uh, it's so bad. It's bad. Boy. Using a terrible mic as well. The thing that I rem that remember that's terrible about my first video is that I would... So my videos were... I would cut out all the dead air in between, right? Yeah. And I would cut all the ums and ahs. Except there was a lot of ums and ahs. Yeah. So it'd be like every <laughs> other <laughs> one. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. That's the worst thing about it. Anyway, so then you made that. Yeah, and then and you would help me out a lot with my videos and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I was sort of behind, well, behind the cameras a bit because you you'd record in a room, very rarely need the cameraman. But I was like, the, there was the times where guy. I would need cameramen yeah. as well, and also you'd help with the topics and things like that. It wasn't like official; it was just sort of like, oh well, um, man, I need something that's yeah. I need something. And be like, oh, let me find something for you, no problem. And then we did that one thousand subscriber special that we posted a reaction oh, yeah. to, and you was the cameraman for I that. Was. And it was, Minecraft was a big thing back then. It was like, this will get us lots of views because it's Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Minecraft is the thing. It's the yeah. shit right now. Let's do something with Minecraft related. And I had just learned how to use Cinema 4D, which yeah. is like a 3D effects program. Hold on, let, let's take a step back. For the record. Go ahead. Despite the quality of our presentation. Yes. Me, I would just record videos, come up with a topic, upload it, right? Yeah. You... You really learned about editing. You were interested in like special effects mm. and, and stuff. Like SFX is, is a hobby of yours. Yeah. And it became a hobby of yours because of YouTube. And by the way, actually, it's paid off. Well, not really. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's paid off as in when we've come to something that we really enjoy and something we're proud of. Yeah, we've, we've got like, the skills there. <laughs> if you guys notice in our videos, you know, the merch comes up on screen. And, yeah. we, and the merch you designed, that's all on you. Yeah. Like in that sense... You've got to, I'd say it looks professional. If if you told someone, if someone said, oh, look, I've got a grand and I want to start YouTube and I've got all the camera equipment, who should I go to to get all this stuff? And mm. you said, oh, I used this per professional person. I wouldn't be surprised that all of that had cost a thousand pounds. But it didn't because you did it all because yeah. it's your hobby. So you just learned, you, you've been playing mm. around on Cinema 4D. Oh, because um, do you remember Freddie Wong? Yes. Freddie Wong and Corridor Digital and stuff had just Freddie come Wong, out. Freddie Wong, Corridor Digital and a bunch of other little YouTubers and whatnot. They had produced all these amazing, like, first person shooter type videos with visual effects and gunshots and blood splat. And I was like, this is what I want. This is my calling. I want this. The thing we didn't understand was just being able to do the effects isn't what makes the video good. No, it's funny how like the VFX houses for like Avengers Endgame didn't make the video. That's like, wait, they still need actors. They still need all this other stuff going on. You still need on. to visually tell a story. <laughs> the shots have to be, you know, shot right, framed right. You have to have pacing. There's a reason you need enemies. No one you know. told us this. <laughs> no, we, didn't, we didn't have any of that. I would encourage you guys, if you haven't seen it, go and watch the reacting to our thousand sub video. Yeah. Because it is awful. Yeah, you get little tidbits in there and also you get to laugh along with us. Yeah. Please don't just laugh at us. <laughs> so so you we made you made that video and we'd always we're best friends, yeah. basically, right? So we're all we're always talking or jamming like video games. Is more yeah. like colleagues, yeah. I wouldn't go as far as a queen. I mean I banged your mum once, that's about the as once, right, exactly. exactly. And she gave you like a one star review on Yelp. Yeah, exactly. So, she was like, Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't <laughs> Yeah, I me. probably wouldn't. <laughs> um and then both of us were just kind of like, so my channel never really grew. <clears throat> I didn't know any of the stuff and I couldn't find a way to get boobies in the thumbnails, right? Yeah. And I couldn't really figure out Playing thumbnails. Playing Call of Duty 4, talking about the types of guns. How do I get boobies my in thumbnails, this? Oh! If I remember right, my thumbnails mostly were just, I would 
if I could have a topic, I would Google the topic, find an image, and just use that image. I well, couldn't make thumbnails. That's the thing. You couldn't. You didn't know anything about no Photoshop and no nothing, or even any sort of program how to do cutting. So, it, if Google didn't produce it, then shit, we'll, we'll turn it a luck. My right videos, <laughs> if they weren't there, because I'd do some of those live commentary things, and I would do the live playthrough. So I'd record myself playing, talking about my decision and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But if I was doing like a commentary. The only commentary that went up was the one that I delivered best. If I did, if I did like a big um and ah or started, I couldn't think of what I was thinking. Delete that recording. Start the whole the recording. Oh boy, because I, could I couldn't do like that. Getting nine stuff. minutes in and be like, ah. Um... And for some reason, I used Garage Band. <laughs> Garage Band. Garage Band. And yeah. Not QuickTime. I don't know why. Garage. Garage Band. band. Garage. Lando. <clears throat> Lando, dear. Lando. Um, yes. So I took a break because I just couldn't, I didn't know any of the back end stuff that I know now and didn't really know what I was doing. I took a big, I just stopped. I was like, ah, I'm done. I'm not growing. Mm -hmm. I had like 200 subs. One of the worst things was when people turn up and like, how do you only have 250 subs? I thought you'd have a million subscribers. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, I know I'm good <laughs> enough, but I haven't been discovered. Like, <laughs> I know it's a compliment. <laughs> But it doesn't feel that way. It feels like the worst backhanded compliment you've ever taken. You yeah. Know? It's just a constant reminder of you not yeah. being where you want to be. <laughs> so I, I was just like, screw it. It's not, it's not working. Yeah. What about you? For me, <clears throat> I had a point in my life where I just, I couldn't keep up with YouTube. I couldn't keep up with that. I couldn't keep up with like relationship as well as university, as well as everything going all at the same time. So I gave it a bit of a break. And I just never came back to it. It, it turned was, into like a six year break or something, a four year break for both of us. How, I can't remember exactly how long it was. It was many years. It was a few years at least. And I was like, oh man, that really sucked. And then a bunch of things happened. I was like, okay. And then randomly we started talking. We was like... We started talking, well, we, we would always been talking. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah. We, but we like hanging out. I think we <clears throat> both, sometime we both decided, we we're just like, oh, I'm getting that itch again to make something, to, to do something, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't watch TV. No. The closest thing that I watch to TV is like Netflix shows, yeah, like The Mandalorian or The Witch or something, right? Yeah. But I don't watch TV, so all my content other than Netflix and that is on YouTube. Yeah. And you were talking about it, and I was saying, you know, I'm kind of thinking about it. And you came back and did a couple of the old shows. It was in, still in that same format. Yeah. And I remember, like, you did one, and it was like three weeks, you did another one. And then you did like a vlog style thing. Not on purpose, but you were just like, you didn't have time to do a video and you had to make an announcement. Yeah. I remember texting you and I was like, dude, like live on the spot is 100% your format. You should, don't go back to the show. Whatever you're going to do, if you're going to do it, do that all live. It seems more me or something. Yeah, like, like you had better timing and what you were saying was better. Your jokes were funnier because they were off the cuff. Like, mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, the scripts were all good, but like this was better. Okay. You know, it's not that the show was bad. It's that you had found something accidentally yeah. that had jumped two leagues. Not that anything was bad. You just found something even better. And I wanted to make something and I had no idea. And then I think we were playing poker. Yeah. I think we were playing poker with the boys. It was our poker night. And you and me, which someone had said something about a game, and we'd keep up with this stuff. I remember this, yeah, they yeah. They were yeah. like, oh, whatever happened to this game? And you and me started talking, and I was like, oh, well, you know, like, let's we'll make it up. Like, yeah. Bethesda's delayed this thing because yes. um, their, their top guy dropped out, um, and the project was supposed to be headed up by Amy Henning. She's the guy that did, you know, making yeah. it up. We're making but, things up here. But we, we started talking yeah. about yeah. this specific topic, and, and we was doing it like yeah. you guys see now on Conversations. Yeah, it was just poker, and we were talking, and we kind of talk about this stuff anyway, we have similar interests. And the boys were just like, I think it was Harry or something. one of those Sav. guys. Yeah, Sav goes, you boys should be recording this. This is a show. Like, you should be recording this. And this was like within a couple of weeks of us talking about wanting to make stuff. And then I think we didn't think anything of it. And then one of us texted the other one a couple of days in. Like, do you remember what Sav said that night? Like, I'm really kind of feeling it. Should we sit down yeah, and what, record something? What do you think about doing something up here? Yeah. And then we just we just did it. Yeah, we just sat down and started recording what you guys see as the conversations channel right here. Yeah, it started off rough. There were some rough edges oh, that yeah, we needed to sand down and whatnot. And, and also, it took time because we we've grown a lot of as um, content creators, right? Yeah. And also, it took growth. So, like your skill set was pretty much suited to this because you'd learnt the editing and yeah. stuff. And I I was thinking, look, if, if we're gonna do this, I can't just be the other guy that talks. I can't do ten percent of the work. Mm. So I spent ages trying to learn uh you know watch youtube videos of people talking about like the algorithm and mm. and the, the back end that was SEO. the bit that i never understood that i, could I didn't never know it was a thing well there you go this is so we have we both have our skill sets and whatnot and we're trying to overlap in certain areas like editing and stuff like yeah that. but 
I was so relieved when you came along and you was like, so I've looked into the back end of things and search engine optimization and how tags work and how thumbnails work and what's yeah. the best practices. And I was like, mate, this is so good because while I might be good at the editing stuff or maybe collecting stories or something like that, yeah. I'm dead shit at this. Yeah, so yeah, if yeah. you can cover that half, because it was the funny fucking thing great. Is, it's like <laughs> I'd look up something and be like, oh, how to make you know thumbnails that are engaging. I'm like, I, I can't make thumbnails, but I know a guy who can. Mm -hmm. You know, so like pretty often... We'll, I'll get a text saying, what do you think about this summer? And I'm like, uh, move this to the left, get this thing bigger, mm. and you know what, take that thing out completely. Yeah. And then we try that, and I'm like, ah, actually, put that thing, what do you think? And you're like, ah, I like the thing. Let, I want to put the thing back. And I'm like, yeah, put the thing back. You right. know, like, it's, a, it's a give and a take, but it is good that we have that overlapping thing, because you can have the best videos out there, and if no one sees them... It's tough, isn't it? Right, and I remember... We were in your kitchen talking about doing this. Yeah. And we both said, look, let's not worry too much about the growth. We'll do the community thing. Because that was one of the things you missed about having videos. Yeah, being able to talk to a bunch of people. And right. Just every now and again when you... Like you said a lot as well. And I really love the way you said it. Where it was like, just to be able to... If you're bored one night, to just be able to jump on somewhere and be able to talk to a bunch of people who know who you are, you know yeah. who they are, and then have similar interests and just go, yes, let's, right. let's talk with fucking bros, mate. Exactly. Let's talk. Like, for example... not comparing us to ninja because obviously he's not in the same league as he's us not, but yeah, if ninja not, decides one day <laughs> out of his schedule that he's bored like his wife's gone off and he's bored right he jumps on where is he now mixer mixer that's right yeah someone's gonna be there yeah because because of, of the guy's size right so we were just like look let's focus on making what we want to make and building up a community the growth will come mm -hmm. as and when it comes and i'm doing the seo stuff you're doing the thumbnails it will mm -hmm. work in the end but if you put in all this hard work, because we do put in a lot of time and effort to this stuff, yeah. and you get no growth, it's really disheartening. It is really disheartening. You've got to do stuff with the aim of growth yeah. as well. Yeah. Which we've started to get. Which we've yeah. started to get, and that's, it's promising. We had a bumpy ride. This was the worst way to do what we wanted. We probably would have been better starting a, a new channel. I actually think that. I think Two the YouTube algorithm hates what we've done. Possibly. I it's really possibly. think it hates we, it. we started, the, we repurposed my old channel because we had all the subscribers already there, but they were oh my half days. dead. This was the worst decision we made because yeah. we we both said, well, look, should we make a new channel? Oh, but your one does have like five, 6,000 subscribers. Let's just do that because we've already got an audience yeah. there. Terrible decision because we lost like 3,000 subs or something insane like that. Yeah. We lost a lot of subs and all YouTube <laughs> sees is we lost 3,000 subs. That's all they see. That's really all they see. Luckily though, we had we had the quality and we had the, the, the comedy yeah. to offset that. So when we lost... 10 subs one day we'd gain another like 8 or 10 or something yeah. like that at that time and it would just so for the longest time we was at 5,900 and we're like 5,700 5,900 5,600 5,900 we're like we waited like Fuck! 3 months we waited 3 months for our 6k sub video because we were finally sure we had 6k <laughs> yeah. subs it was like okay are you okay are you sure are you sure we're at 6k now positive Okay, we'll do it. Okay, we'll do the 6K sub video now. Okay. Right, right. The, there was something that was going on in my mind that I actually never told you. Okay. And this is more of a personal thing that I'm just... I don't want to let some of my my fears go out, otherwise they become okay. real. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. I was Have you like, got one of those evil eyes down somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Turkish evil eyes on somewhere. I was, always, I was scared, first of all, that changing from my old format of like doing the Inside Eddie yeah. show, which was what it was called if you guys didn't know, Inside Eddie show back then, to this format, people would see that either that, would think, sorry, that I was either a fraud back in the day and this is who I really am, or that I'm putting on something now. And How I was like- you a fraud? It was a, like a new show. I know, right? This is the thing. And I was insanely, I was wrapped up in my own head where I was like, I feel like I'm a fraud. This is it. People are going to see me and people are going to think, oh my God, this guy's faking everything. He faked everything before. He's faking everything now. Oh my God. And it consumed me for a little bit. <laughs> it consumed, consumed me. Consumed me, I'm telling you. And I managed to push it down. I was like... Ugh. And then for a while I was like, okay, I think I've got this. And I think one day we knocked out one video out of the park and it was just one of our just natural bro chats yeah, that yeah. we have. And I was like... This I'm it. fine because this is me. Yeah, yeah, this this is, is me right here. But I mean, and then from then on, it's all it's, been great. It's all a, it's all a learning experience, isn't it? Like yeah. our intro. If you go back to what, let's say about a year ago, yeah, that we don't really have an intro, no. and then we started changing it. And I think it was those exact words that Sav said. Um, no, one of us said Sav, oh, these are just conversations we have anyway. Yeah, and he said, well, why don't you just put a camera in it then? 
And so we're like, well, these are conversations go. we're going to have anyway. And we're recording them and put them on the internet. That's yeah, yeah. literally what we're doing. So there we go. That's our branding. And Our branding is correct. And I like that we say that at the beginning because it's kind of a reminder to just have a chat. Yeah. And talk about whatever the topic is. The topic will change, but our opinions on it doesn't really. Like, it's just us. Which is, that makes things useful because you don't have to, like, stay in character. You literally just have to react to something. Exactly. Oh, shit. We're a react channel. Oh, shit. No. Where's Wait, my million subs? Mate. The only thing we need to do now is brought to you a... by NordVB. No, <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by. <laughs> right. Um, the only thing we need to do now is be a sludge channel. What's that sludge stuff? Where they just oh slime. They... Yeah, slime in it. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah, squish yeah. stuff and whatnot. Then we. That's how we get to a million. Um, okay, I need to ask um, for all the listeners out there. What kind of stuff do you want to hear about? Because we had discussed doing things like the origin story, and we have a channel on Discord, the Grow on YouTube stuff, mm-hmm. mainly because I like that. Because yeah. that's my end of things. Especially, yeah, because you've learned about all that stuff and you right. know exactly all about um, it. So I'm curious if people want to hear about the back end of YouTube and, and growth and stuff or not. Because I, I don't... I'll tell you what we should... interesting. What, what was thinking we should do. And I think this might be like the question to put out to people is that I'm going to make either in, in the coming weeks and whatnot, when, probably when this goes live, you'll see it, either a Discord channel or there'll be a link or something where you guys can write into the show. Yeah. And it'll be specifically for this show. And it will be opened up questions to whatever the hell you want it can range from youtube stuff it can range from what's wrong with your dick it could be arranged with oh this relationship thing it can be oh what game are you looking forward to oh this specific uh, part of my life whatever it might be i mean we're seasoned seasoned veteran gamers and seasoned veteran in life as well True. so we've got something to talk about regardless of what you write in with that being said I feel like we've quite covered our origin story. That's yeah. where we are now. Yeah. I think it's quite good. Only took us 40 minutes. Only took us 40 minutes. I'm going to chuck in one fun story at the end. Just for the record, these aren't always going to be an hour long. We, yeah. we just got off on a weird one. This is just... We're going to go off all the time. There's no set time for this. It will just be something different every, every time we do this, every month we do this. And just be happy that we're going to have this awesome yeah, conversation it's, it's with us. It's extra content and the guys over on patreon.com forward slash conversations get it early. They do get they it early go. every month. Um... I wanted to ask you a quick question. Yeah. This is going to round it all out. To set the tone for this Great. conversations podcast we've got going on here. Fuck, I never know what to do. And oh, I've got a quick question. <laughs> and it could be like, do you think Batman wanks? Yeah. Like, I don't, uh, all right, okay. Let me just send to myself. All right. This question got in my head and I could not get it out. Brilliant. We're scientists, right? I'm, uh, <laughs> so you can't see quotation we did, marks. We did science degrees, yeah. <laughs> when you get a vasectomy. Yes. Well, are you saying like you're gonna get one in the future, and you're are you I mean, asking for am I planning to get one, or are you saying like when a person the royal when league? a person gets okay, one? Yeah. I've genuinely considered getting a vasectomy one time right. anyway, but um, I'm like when you if you get a vasectomy, right? I want to as a kid, yeah. like as a younger like a teenager yeah. before I really knew what was going on. I always thought because you you hear that vasectomies are reversible and stuff, right? Yeah. Um, I always thought it was just a little like literally a miniature clothes peg that they put on the shoes. <laughs> How do you how do you block a hose? Just you just put a clothes peg on it. Done. Yeah, it's like a little peg that goes in the sack, <laughs> like on the tubes. My ball sack is hurting just yeah. thinking about that. I just I was like, oh, that's cool. I mean, it won't really look like that, but it's like a medical, you know, balls peg. Like obviously, that looks like fourteen year old me thinking like, how do they get the peg in there? <laughs> I'm thinking of like a, a wooden clothes peg. I was thinking of a white says, plastic one. Oh, yeah, okay. same deal. Like, and I was thinking just medical written on the side of it. There you go. That's a medical yeah, clothes yeah, peg yeah. right there. <laughs> when you get a vasectomy. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing so much at that now. When you get a vasectomy, does anything come out? I hear you can. I, I don't know about like, do you, this is a question for Google. This is a question for Google. The Google. thing is like when you, when you finish. Yeah. Like, Part of it is the the release. Like, no shit. I would honestly say, you know, if you're, like, busting for a piss. Yeah. And you get that, oh, that relief is, like, up there. It's in the same, it's not in the same league, but it's in the same discussion. Right. Okay. As, like, that, like, level of, like, the release of pressure, you know? So, um, I feel like that's half the, not fun, but, you know, it's half of the, the relief, half the, yeah. the, the point is the... Spreading your seed, isn't it? Spreading it all over. Don't yeah. get me wrong, like when I'm watching porn and stuff like that, that is the it's called the money shot for a reason, yeah. right? It's like that's the interesting part where you've just 
glazed like the woman like a, nice, a Krispy Kreme donut. I like how this was like a nice, oh yeah, here's our origin story. By the way, it's still X-rated. Yeah, it's still okay, X-rated. Yeah, this yeah. is what you can expect here. And I, the reason why I was thinking of it is because I was trying to imagine it because I don't know, as I said, we're scientists in quotation marks. We don't know about everything about science. If you're a porn star you can and you can still get the money shot, with a vasectomy, you'd think it's a business expense, wouldn't right? you? Right, like that's just, what you'd it's think. It's part of your business insurance. Because yeah. that is the worst. You know, you turn up to a job, you know, you do your work, and then you find out you've got this bill you've got to pay for for 18 years. Right. Nah, mate, nah. Um, I was thinking, you'd still have the muscle... What's it like? Peristalsis, which is yeah, like yeah. where like the things oh, around the tube. Like, oh, we're so it's good. Okay, so I know a couple of things. Peristalsis, for those of you guys who don't That's know, is like digestion, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's for like your your food yeah. tube and whatnot, where things get moved down and then yeah, reverses yeah, yeah. where it goes back up. It's where, where something like a muscle squeezer tube. Um, you'd still get that, but then would nothing come out? Would it just be like just air? Dust. Like. <laughs> <laughs> How's like a, the air gonna get in there? Like, I don't know exactly. Like before your balls, there's like an air sac. That's like I'm imagining like a pressure cannon, just sort of. Oh <laughs> no! Do you know what I always used to think before we answer this question? Before Go Google on. answers this question for us, I always used to think as well. Like I had the image in my head. I didn't actually think there was a little guy down there. But you know when you've finished, yeah, and like you go for a wee, yeah, and there's that point where it's like you need to piss, but. Like the it's like the train tracks haven't moved over. Yeah. To like, okay. You yeah. Know what I mean, and I was like, I was like, what's the biological version of these train tracks like <laughs> moving? Why is it that I can't piss straight away? I think it's something to do with your boner. Because have you ever had like you know when it you takes wake up in the morning? To start. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're in the morning, like you have like a your fucking morning wood. It's harder to start, so maybe that's something to do with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We need if there's any actual physicians out there, if there's anyone who actually knows about this, let us know. All right, so I googled in here. I was like, "What comes out of your out after a vasectomy?" Well, it's, the title was first ejaculation after surgery. So I mean, yeah. So spoiler the, alert: the first one it says people who can who can get an erection and ejaculate before the vasectomy will still be able to do so after the procedure. Well, that's fairly, you know. Hold on, uh, ejaculate as well. Hold on, that's the thing. The whole I'm trying to stop that. That's why I went to the surgery. The only change is that the ejaculation. It, only change to the ejaculation is that the semen will no longer contain sperm. So why are you jizzing then? Yeah. For the first few days after the vasectomy, most individuals will feel some pain, swelling, discomfort in their testicles, and there will be a small wound, wound around each testicle the way the doctor made the decision. The result is advanced. A few days of ejaculation. If the ejaculation is still causing discomfort after you, okay. So, wow, you can get post vasectomy pain syndrome. So, it's a, a chronic pain which lasts up to three months. That's not good. But then the thing is, pain like, is the worst. The thing is, and I know this isn't how it works, but it just came to my head. I was like, wait, so does one do like the liquid and one does the, the cells? Do you know what I mean? Imagine like you lose your, your sperm testicle, but you can still spunk the, the, the If you can stuff. still spunk the sticky <clears throat> stuff, then it's pretty, you got, it's like a win-win situation. I, well, no, not if you want kids. Oh yeah, if you don't want kids, yeah, that, that's yeah. not going to work out. <laughs> it's kind of like, weird. that's but, weird. I don't get that. I don't know. I definitely feel like, I watch a fair bit of sci-fi. I really enjoy sci-fi. Look, for example, we, we've mentioned a few times we have the science background. Yes. The Martian. I loved the book. I thought it was hilarious at, yeah, yeah. at times and it was really good. <clears throat> and this was before the movie came out. Being a bit nerdy, yeah. I double checked his maths. Oh, here we I, go. I worked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I remember we stuff. spoke about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked out a couple of things and the, the stuff that I couldn't figure out. So it was things like how the engines work and shit. Right? Yeah. I don't know that shit. I don't know about the radiation shit, but anything biology wise, yeah. I can figure out yeah. roughly, right? We got a microbiology background. I'm not a botanist, but I can figure out what, I know what's in someone's like stool samples and stuff. Would it have worked? Is it the right bacteria? Yeah. Can they live in, in the environment, all that stuff, right? How many potatoes could you do? A little bit of Googling about potatoes and reading like one or two actual papers, not like, oh, in the Martian. Yeah. Not some fucking blog post. I'm like, all right, cool. It actually, it works, right? So I enjoy sci-fi. And I definitely feel like when it comes to medicine, we are fucking around with shit. We have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, I, I've I've liked a lot of stuff and there's stuff that I've looked up on, on the side of myself, but it's definitely me chatting shit out of my, out of my face. Yeah. I just, <laughs> and then I feel like as well, there are some questions that need to be answered and the only way they get answered is by the question being asked which is for example can we make dinosaurs yeah and i think people should try 
but they shouldn't be allowed to live. Yes, we've seen Jurassic Park. This is definitely exactly. not a road. So, so we don't, we don't make you know make them. Do they live? Yes. Cool. Kill it. Mm -hmm. Cool. We can do it. Yes. You know, but we need to answer those questions so we know what we can do with what we've got. Exactly. Because there's a lot of stuff that we can do in theory, but it can't be done because it's illegal, and so we don't even know if it could be done. We just know we think we could do it. Yeah. So the we scientific have to know. basis is there. Yeah, we have to know, and this isn't like human experimentation we're talking about mixing a frog and a crocodile or something yeah. right what do you get at the end oh that's uglier than we thought kill it exactly you know? <laughs> oh that looks really good put it kill in it. fire put it in right. fire exactly and this it's is... immune to fire how did we not see this <laughs> no what did we do <laughs> <laughs> and this is exactly my my thing with the uh, with the vasectomy thing yeah i just want to know and now knowing that apparently you can still jizz in my opinion this is great you want me to come and hold your hand while you get your Balls chopped up. I was hoping you hold more than that, but if, I'll wrap. if you want to, I mean, I'll get you a glove if you like, but that's that's kind of not what we usually. If we've touched each other there before, then why are you going to need a glove now? <laughs> <laughs> why do you even say it that way? <laughs> what a weirdo. I'm, I'm seriously considering a vasectomy now that I can do that. Guys, next time you hear us, we I'm, might, I might have a vasectomy. I'm pretty sure yeah, you just sit down. Like, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Should we start this recording? Oh, <laughs> can I get some ice? Oh, baby Sarah, girl. make up! I need peas. Give me some frozen peas. <laughs> How are you going to... I don't know. Like, I feel like is that something you have to sell to your girlfriend? Or do you just get it done? It's one. I think it's one of those... So you know like the... Oh, it's her body. She can do whatever she wants. It's one of those things. But for men, we're taking it back. The only problem is... So this is a real thing. So they're like, oh, there's finally a contraceptive pill for men. No. I bet because I've been interested in this stuff again. I understand how like yeah. the, the body works. Male anatomy is really difficult to um to, it doesn't regulate right. So like right. women go through the the cycles right. So yeah. that's why female contraceptives work hormonally because they go always going through a cycle and all you have to do is maintain a cycle at a given point. Yeah. And the body thinks one thing or the other. Men don't do that. So mm. messing with a constant is really difficult, right? And this current pill, there's the previous version of it just made everyone infertile. Fuck. Yeah, and apparently this one is like, it lasts for 10 years. So you're like, okay, I'm 20. I won't want kids till I'm 30. But what if you get to 28 and you want kids? Yeah. Right? yeah. Or you're 30 and you're just like, oh, I can't bother taking, you know, always checking. But then you get to 40. Do you really want to be having kids when you're 40? It's pretty yeah. old, right? And then if it lasts for 10 years, well, what if it lasts for 10% longer? 11 years. Yeah, because it's got to be what off if, by a bit. What if it took eight years to find out there was a problem with the batch? And now you're just infertile. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. difficult. So I, I don't like that shit. We're fucking with stuff we don't understand. Yeah. For sure. And that's great when it comes to making movies. <laughs> right? But not for real life. We just oh, we'll just add this into the into the into the mix. It's gonna be like um uh Superman three where they're trying to make kryptonite, they don't know what the last ingredient is, so he just adds tar and then it makes a bizarro <laughs> Superman and there's right, an angry exactly. one and then just like that. Perfect. If you add time to Kryptonite, who knew? Who Bizarre. knew? Who knew right there? It's amazing. I managed to bring everything back to Superman. We started with Superman talking about it. Yeah, we did. It. <laughs> we did. Anyway, I think that's a good spot to end right there. That is. That yes, is. that's going to be our world premiere, our first episode of this uh, conversation. That's the best uh, thing about our show, show, is everything is a world premiere, because it's always the first time we're talking about whatever we're talking exactly. about, because it's always new. It's always going to be a world premiere. You guys heard it here first. Um... <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us on this new episode thing we're, we're doing. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, next time, um, there's going to be somewhere. It'll probably be in the description of this video as well when we post it up on YouTube or Patreon, wherever we post it. Write in with your questions, whatever the hell it might be. It can be crazy scenarios if you want. What would you guys do if this? What's your theory about this? What do you think about that? Can you help me with so-and-so? And we will answer them here on the on the yeah. show for you also guys. let us know if you've made it this far how you like the the just rambling format because we could we could add a bit more structure into that's it. we true. could have like topic one topic two and just see where we go until we hit the next topic yeah or we could just keep rambling yeah which we're able to do because as we mentioned previously we have many years on youtube mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. gives you this ability to just talk about talk nothing shit. Yeah. if you ever do it one is like gameplay commentaries yeah. like an actual gameplay commentary where you're live coming you playing the game, you have to get to this point where you're like, oh, look, there's a chest. I'm going to walk over to this chest and see what's in it. Oh, it's only a grey dagger. That's okay. Talk we'll about sell nothing it for a bit. To, <laughs> yeah, we'll sell that when we get back to Novigrad. It's not a problem. We're going to, oh, wait, oh, yeah, I've still got that point. I'm going to put it into my potions. You and, build you know, up this ability to yeah, just do to that. To literally chat shit about nothing yeah. for hours. Literally So nothing. we can do that. 
and because of the way we we act you know we can bounce off each other yeah, yeah. and then one guy will say something completely random it'll take us down an actual tangent where we're both interested in what we're talking about mm. so we can do that or we can have some structure so we do need to uh, to know if you if you prefer one if there's if it's 10 votes to no structure one vote to structure We'll keep it as it is, you know. Yeah, it will, be, it will all evolve as it goes on. A bit like our channel and whatnot. A bit yeah. like our videos, where it started off in one place and then we sanded it down and made it polished the way you see it now. I think this will get better and better as time goes on. Yeah. And I'm glad you guys are here along the way. Thank you again to all of our Patreon bros who helped essentially this happen. We've we've now got a little bit more time in our schedules because of the, the money you guys are bringing in for us to help fund this show, to keep the lights and mics on and stuff like that. Yep. Um We've now got more time to do more stuff, and it's it's really really we're encouraging. Getting, it's really great. Like we're getting surprisingly close to our day a week. Yeah, yeah. Our weekday day, I think. Yeah, we was gonna take like extra days off of work so we can actually do amazing content. Yeah, more content. Yeah. I'm really excited about doing more relevant content because yes. we record like most of the times we're recording a bit delayed Saturday ish, Friday Saturday. Um, if something comes out on a Tuesday, mm. and our Friday video is about it nothing we can do right yeah but if we could be like oh well okay now we got the incentive not the incentive but we've got the um the buffer yeah. to be like okay cool we can do the extra journey spend the extra time you know yeah so that's what i'm most excited about this patreon stuff's been cool it's been really good we've had uh, thank god we've had our, co our community has been so supportive and so awesome you guys By are really way, great. we have a patreon announcement that's going to be going up probably before this so if you haven't seen it check the patreon announcement yes yes there's going to be some changes yeah. going on there hopefully some really cool it's stuff some good changes you'll like it yeah you'll like it you'll like it all right we'll see you guys in the next one and i'll, I'll see you sometime we don't have to soon. shake hands because i have to we, fucking no, touch no, you oh, fucking oh, can we shake hands anyway i love no. to touch you please no, we, we can touch right, i'll just like grab your dick one second <laughs> <laughs> even though it was audio i did it <laughs> all right we'll catch you later guys